Yeah, once again, it's your boy DJ Sleep Easy right here. Two up, two down. We live in the trap. We know what it is, man. Live on, what is it, Wave 804? Yes, sir. Oh, we live on Wave 804. Yeah. You sure about that now? <laughs> Straight 804, Wave 804. Y'all know what's up, man. Tune in, rap a lot in the building, man. Mob ties. The way you activate your hips and push your ass out Got a nigga wound, it's so bad I'm about to pass out But baby, can I tell the truth? I love the way your booty moves Loving that big old bubble, I'm ready to call you juicy fruit Baby, hit my phone when you feeling all alone And you need someone to roam, just know it's on When we bone, and then I'm gone She fell in love with a thug What up, world? Y'all already know what time it is, man It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff Right here, this is the only place you can find the wave It's the wave 804 Now today is a different day but uh, this is one of my OGs right here, and I have the chance to sit here and do an interview while he's getting his hair done. He's getting ready for the night, you know what I'm saying, at Stadium. But I ain't gonna say too much. I'm gonna let my OG talk his shit real quick. Yeah, man, you know what's up, man? We in here, bro. I got my. Lactician right on, you know saying she doing her thing as always. I need to pull up, you know what I mean? Get your head done, man. My Miss TT, you know what I'm saying? Say hi to the camera, TT. <laughs> But yeah, man, what's good, fam? Talk to me. Ain't not much, man. Just want to go ahead and get an update, you know what I'm saying? It's been a couple years, I think, since we actually been around each other. Yeah. And um, a couple weeks ago, man, we was at Stadium, you know what I'm saying? We was chopping it up, talking about some business and whatnot. Word. I want to talk about you, man, your Word. growth, man, how far you've been working, you know what I'm saying, since day one. Like, man, what's oh, going man. on with you? Oh, man, chilling, man. You know, be man, a couple singles uh, dropped out there, you know what I'm saying? Got some new music on the way. Mm -hmm. Been still doing my thing. I'm still rapping. I still rap a lot Midwest. TDP be still out here making moves. Mm -hmm. um, got like got a couple crazy shows going on. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, um, Fourth of July takeover, Independence takeover. I'll be in um, Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. Um, we got Chicago. Got um, doing a media run up there with the, with the squad up in Chicago, Illinois. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to um, iHeart Radio. You know what I'm saying? My boy Steve Giles out there. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, man, just just grinding. That's all. That's all it is. Just grinding. Just linking up with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big Boogie. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Finesse. Shout out to um, J Prince Jr. You know what I'm saying? We all been been working and grinding. That's it. Mm -hmm. So man, what's going on with you though, my guy? Like again, I've been seeing you've been working for a very long time, man. I know <laughs> when you didn't even have dreads, bro. You know, right. you had a short time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, even from then, man, I want to say from 2017, 2018 to now. Right. What was the major change, man, which you start to branch out and do different things? Because you was already traveling, doing everything else. Right. we in the trap. Right. And now it's like you're doing a whole lot more, man, because the results is definitely showing and paying off. Word. So explain to us, man, what was that big jump, man, from way back when to now? Well, basically, my, uh, my OG, shout out to KD out there. You know what I'm saying? He linked me up with rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? So... Once that came in the fold, everything kind of just went a little different. Mm -hmm. It went up from there. So I've just been grinding, you know what I'm saying, linking up with different artists, working with a lot of the members on the team. You know, shout out to Ink Dog, Corey Got Clout. Shout out to uh, DGA down in Mississippi. Big Folgers, you know what I'm saying, he down in, um, in Houston. Shout out to uh, K3, you know, he in Houston. You know what I mean, just been linking up, making moves. Shout out to the other OGs, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Big E, shout out to Dane, aka Prez, you know what I'm saying? Just I just been, you know, I got I'ma say it like this. I got mature and meaning as in I got focused on the business aspect instead of the fame, you know what I'm saying? So that's so that's basically what's been different between 2017 and today. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. I like I like that answer. That was very impressive. Mm -hmm. So when you was building yourself up what are certain things that you kind of had to take away for you to advance you know what i'm saying as far as the two steps back and make it 10 steps forward you oh know what I'm definitely but I, I mean you know what i said first of all, i was able to sit down i had to sit down for about 18 months you know what i'm saying i did my time came out and i just got focused on me mm -hmm. you know what i said a lot of us would be trying to share the platform try to share the movement where we, how we can involve this person, how can we get this person involved, and they kind of lose track of focusing on themselves because you're too busy uh, spreading yourself thin. So once I got focused on me, you know what I'm saying, well, how can I benefit, how can I build, and those who attach is about uplifting me, you know what I'm saying, that's when things started going in, really, really getting in motion. So, so basically, I've just been grinding ever since, you know what I mean, now I'm just... On some, I'm focused on entrepreneurship, just started my trucking company, you know what I'm saying? So we about, uh, about to have those running on the road, so you know, man, it's still grinding, like you said, man, still DJing, still doing that aspect, it just, 
basically, like I said, everything is about elevating the whole DJ Sleep Easy movement. Mm -hmm. All right, man. So, was there anybody that you kind of talked to or you kind of met with, networked with, that kind of changed your way of thinking? Or was it the time that you had, you know, you had to sit down for a little bit that you had to kind of like rearrange what was important in life? Yeah. But actually, it was both. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I was doing my bid, that's when I kind of got focused on. You know, you once when times get hard, mm -hmm. that's when you find out who really in your corner. You know what I'm saying? So my corner got real light. You know what I mean? So a lot of faces won't won't there. So that kind of like the reality check of things. Then I sat down, with, like I said, with my OGs, KD. You know what I'm saying? Uh, being their mindset. He he also got his whole. Um, non-profit organization called My 2K Foundation okay. that's moving um, then w when I sat there with uh, with rap a lot with um, Prez and Eat they showed me like bro, we got to get on the business aspect you know what I'm saying focus on the money what's going to bring the dollars in that's going to bring the fame that's going to bring the you know what I'm saying the notoriety of everything and so me sitting down with them and other people and you know what I'm saying along the way and meeting other people you know what I'm saying? That was kind of like got me really focused on this entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. Because you always need somebody that I say that know a little bit more than you do. Oh, so facts. you have to be able to absorb that. But why do you feel like I say on our culture, why does it that when we see somebody that know a little more, do a little more, that we kind of like take it as for hate instead of just asking questions for help? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more like, see, people, what it is, they get caught up in the wind right. you know what i'm saying more so than than the grind and not understanding like the fancy cars the flashing money the jewelry see all oh, that's the win you know what i'm saying the upcome you know what i'm saying but they don't focus on the actual grind mm -hmm. the actual grind of everything so they um so other than that you know what i mean once they realize that you got to get out of here shake hands sit down get educated you know what I'm saying, promote and um, doing everything, that's when everything will come in full is not being hate. It'll be more as being, getting, you know what I'm saying, a learning experience instead of a hating experience. Right. All right, so now we in the next phase, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and get the locks done, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, the one thing I really, was well, a couple things I admire about you, but the number one thing I always did appreciate while seeing you is your work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Word. You took the time where you had to go and DJ, you had to show out, but you also had to let people know who you are first and foremost. Right. Um, what do you think is a big difference between from where you was doing you and you was putting yourself out there versus now? Because it's a lot easier due to social media, but right. the energy is different as far as going out there and getting it done, like the determination. Man, it's, it's, it's uh, basically, it's lazy. Right. They, they, you know what I'm saying, the DJs, the artists, I, you know what I'm saying, I feel like they got, the game got more lazier, you know what I'm saying, even the way of the world, you know what I'm saying, first, you got to look at back in the day before everybody's time, man, they used to walk, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, they'll walk from one end, end of the, of the country to the other end, you know what I'm saying, then they went to riding horses, now, now you got cars and you got planes, and just, just like the same thing with, with technology building it up, mm -hmm. so everybody depends more on the technology and not, not actually depending on themselves as doing it. it's like somebody they'll post something and inspect like promoting a the party they'll put it on they'll put it on instagram social media facebook whichever one snapchat whatever and expect that they hit thousands of people but instead of just getting out there with five thousand flyers and putting out posters and and gunning them down hand to hand moving around throughout you know in the metro areas uh, of promoting so that's that's basically the main difference because like when i was coming you know building my name up my, my main girl, I had small steps, mm -hmm. you know, like when I started doing mixtapes, you know, we was out there with CDs. My main goal was I wanted to be outside and actually hear a car drive by playing my mixtape. Right. If I didn't hear that every day, I'd go harder. Right. So if I move 100 a day and then I wake up the next day and I don't catch that car moving around, I try to push myself to be 200 to 250, you know what I'm saying, and keep going until I accomplish that goal. And that's the main thing. People don't make big steps. They take bigger steps. They don't make take the, the baby steps to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? They want to skip everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. All right. So, what do you think that made you 
the thing that we that the younger generation need to change as far as the laziness, you know, need to be more focused on what we need to be doing. Like, if there's any distraction to eliminate, what would they be for people, well, the younger generation to be able to be focused? Yeah, if they get out more on the physical grind aspect, you know what I'm saying, the, I feel like the hate right. uh, of the game would kind of dwindle. It's going to be there forever. That's, that's, that's just part of life, you right. know what I'm saying? But... This this artist hating on that artist or this DJ hating on that DJ. If you always seeing each other and y'all always grinding and working together, it'd be more accomplishment. Because you know, you go to certain events, like showcases, for instance, artists are you know what I'm saying, the artists are all coming together, supportive of each other in that platform. Because mm -hmm. they know everybody is working. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, he coming in. He walks in the club, oh he coming in, he trying to shine, and then the other person feel like they being left out. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you get more more on the grind, more focus on that, then I feel like the upkeep will come more. More doors will open for us, especially for the market alone. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll get out here and build a buzz locally, you know what I'm saying, and, and get like, okay, I'm from the South Side, so I got the whole walk in the club, I got the whole South behind me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, but I ain't going to the North Side, or I ain't going to the West End or the East End, I ain't going down to the trash cities and try to, you know, mingle mm -hmm. network or nothing like that. I'm fine with what I got right here. Right. So, you know, that that's just part of it. I feel like that's more of the laziness of the game. Right. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm not specifically from Richmond, I'm from Hopewell, but the right. four as uh, as a whole has a lot of potential, but I feel like that we kind of keep ourselves from getting to the next level, being one of those cities where, oh, you come in, you see artists, you see all these different things and stuff like that. Right. And based on, because the both of us, we travel, we go different places and we Facts. see different things. Uh, what do you see like outside sources have versus of what we don't have? They act, what outside sources have, they got platforms. Like, they respect their platforms right. you know what I'm saying if somebody want to get on let's just say you're in Philly and you want to do uh, me and them at, uh, with Gilly the Kid and them mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying whatever the business aspect is taken care of they respect it and they do it nobody's I mean you're going to have those that try to cut those corners yo bro look out we go back this that and third mm -hmm. but at the end of the day they respect their brand enough to like, yo, this is the business aspect of you ain't with the business then and then I can do. As for here, we don't respect each other's platform enough to to uh, to elevate. You right. know what I mean? It's like, but dad, bro, oh, he want me to pay 500 to get on the platform, bro, this, that, and the third. You know, they're quick to knock right. it and always looking for a handout right. or aspect or they trying to look at numbers or some of them, you know, they're outrageous their platform, they don't, you know, they ain't in the reality of their platform. Some right. cats want to charge just because this is what they charge in the game, but it's like, okay, bro, you starting out, so you can't get what Wade been doing for a couple of years for his platform, mm -hmm. and you ain't but 30 days in on your platform, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he already got something going on, and you, you know what I'm saying, he got a following, he got a fan base, he, he you know what I'm saying, I'm going to benefit more from that than... Right. I'm more of a benefit to you than you are to me. Right. That's basically what we at now. Cause like even with come to studio time, some artists will feel like they want to get you know I don't got to pay this producer nothing. You know what I'm saying? Want free beats all the time. But mm -hmm. then they'll go to this, you know what I'm saying? Like the homie Young Land when he was out here, they'll pay the top dollar. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll be like, I'm gonna undermine Young Land and just use the studio. But I'm gonna work with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Lower level people, but just try to, but you expect the same results as a working with Young Land, for instance. You know, and that's, I mean, come to the DJ aspect, promoters, they want to be like, they expect the same turnout mm -hmm. for their party, but they'll go get a beginning DJ instead of paying, the, but they expect the experience outcome out of him instead of paying that bread for an experienced DJ mm -hmm. aspect. So, that's basically all it is with us. When you go to these places, man, they're paying top dollar to have, like in Atlanta, to have DJ Holiday or Drama or Greg Streets and them in the building. You know what I'm saying? They're paying top dollars for, they're paying that local top dollars to have local artists, like in Houston, to bring those Erica Banks, those um, Beat Kings and J, J Prince Jr. and all of them, man. You know what I'm saying? After here, we cut through. We, we cut through it ourselves. We don't respect each other's platform. Right. And I feel like that's 
people like that sound crazy because at the end of the day, if you don't have respect for that person's platform, you shouldn't even want to be interested in working with that platform because you want right. to waste your time. But uh, that, well, that there really is true. But as far as the DJs, um, I forgot who I interviewed or who I post I seen. Uh-huh. But I seen that is there's the, uh, the newer DJs that's willing to do the job but being paid for less. Right. Versus a DJ that's very skilled and is looking for the money that he's worth. Why do you feel like? I mean, it's not just only DJs, but it's the right. industry. But why mm-hmm. do you feel like people is willing to undercut folks like that? For the for the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Some people, it's social media, man. People do it more for, I call them grand boys, grand DJs, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do it for, to be, you know, for the, the outcome of the grand. But, you know what I'm saying? But at the end, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of them, they got jobs, you know what I'm saying? They go to work and they, that's taking care of home, so they just DJing just to be saying they, they're a DJ, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Instead of uh, actually understanding that it's a business, you know what I mean? You know, that's just like, you got your mom and pop stores, you know what I'm saying? Then you got your franchises, you know what I'm saying? But you go, if you want that franchise, that luxury car or whatever, you don't walk in, like I said, in the franchise or a luxury car, you don't walk in there and be like, nah, man, man, you want 30000 for this whip or they want... Ten dollars for for this or whatever, and then you talking about somebody. Look, man, I give you ten, I give you twenty for the car. I give you, let me let me give you five for this. You know what I'm saying? The cut mm-hmm. them, they just walk away from it. But and and uh, and it just makes it hard for like a skilled DJ, right, bro? We know what we worth. That right. uh, upcoming young DJ, they don't know, they don't understand, it, and they don't want to. Everybody, like I said, it goes back to everybody want to skip steps. Right. You know what I'm saying? The process. Yeah, the process of every major DJ, like. Funk Master Flex came in the game under Jam Master J. That was his, under, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. His uh, understudy. understudy. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like Lonnie B was the understudy to, for for Drake. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drake taught him the game. You know what I'm saying? DJ Foot taught me the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So now DJ just want to come out and just be a boss. Like right? Right. they don't want to go through that process of training. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just want to open up a business and. Grab you know, lucky t- for for technology. Get them a little controller, get a laptop, download some music, mm-hmm. and just start DJing. You know what I'm saying? And thinking, and then don't understand that they're not respected in the industry like that, and they go through all that frustration. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a really good answer, man. Because um, the ingredients is not the same. It's more microwavable mm-hmm. than actually a home cooked meal that sit overnight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, the process is very different, but the expectation is it's the same. Right. But the out the the result is not going to be the same because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Let alone to look for a mentor, look for somebody that can help give you uh, constructive criticism. Correct. Everything is very defensive nowadays. Like you know, oh man, is it? Man, you say <laughs> something, and it could just be out of respect. But a person that may look at it based on they ain't getting the answer that they need is gonna take it as oh man you know fuck you and you know, <laughs> that's a and fact. That. So that's it. So it's a kind of hard man to kind of try to connect with some of these young bucks. Out man, there. well it is to a certain extent, but the fact of my platform, my grind, you know, what I'm saying they kind of like grab to me. I can kind of relate to them because at the same time I was in their position. You know, what I'm saying like when I came in the game, bro. It was nothing but heavyweights in front of me. You know what I'm saying? You got, and like I, t- I, I say the same story every time. All of them still rocking, all of them still in their prime. You had Drake tearing, tearing the city up. You had Lonnie B tearing the city up. You had DJ Foot tearing the city up. You had Sir IJ tearing the city up. Dr. Smooth tearing the city up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And DJ Marks and plenty more. You know what I'm saying? Just all over the city. Here I am coming in, scrambling just to get a. A birthday party, you know right. what I'm saying? Learning, but lucky at me being underneath foot, it kind of opened up doors. I'm able to meet the right promoters, the right club owners, you know what I'm saying? Radio, you know what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of free remotes and, you know, getting that exposure and everything like that. So I was able to, you know, wiggle my way through, but just try to come out in the game back then, the way they come out now, nah, it would have been impossible. Right. It would have been impossible. Right. Yeah, man. It's- is that there's always a way, but it's always somebody that you can be able to learn from, man. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, um, even sometimes you gotta take the time to look for mentors because you know you have a direction 
and there's ways, but you want to go in the right direction. Exactly. And I don't think a lot of them kind of grasp that and understand that. So that's why the game is so hard. And, and I feel like that's the reason why a lot of, my opinion, a lot of people really won't go make it because they don't believe in working with their peer right. that has a leverage or has right. an opportunity you can come on the platform. But at the end of the day, I don't know what it is that somebody feels like they even <laughs> better or they just don't have to listen yeah, everybody, to what you say. Yeah, everybody want to be the boss, you know what I'm saying? Like, they want to, to be the connect. They mm -hmm. want to be the plug, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being, they don't want to say, but well, shoot, man, Wade plug me in with this. They want to be like, yo, I got I got this done. I got that done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more I now instead of team or you know what I'm saying? So that's 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 the problem with with the industry now, especially in our market anyway. Everybody get they got their circle, but they don't want to branch in to, to you know, to move forward. It's just like, yo, we did this or I did this, you know what I'm saying? So and that's that that's the mentality that we, we got out here and it's, it's it's coming together slowly. It's breaking, cause like I see, like a lot of my young producers that's out there, JD on the B, Key Money, you know what I'm saying, and a couple of others. They be having their own little. They work together as producers, right. and that's why they're in the spotlight like that. You know what I'm saying? They growing, and the others ain't. And the artists, like the producers, are grow, but the artists are staying still, right. and that's because they are unified working together. I love to see it, man. I love to see a lot more people. It's coming. Actually, do good business. And me, they can't say that me, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's not saying people. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you do contracts, it's honor your word, man. Because there's no such thing as calling yourself a real nigga if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. That's my opinion, bro. But uh, let's talk about stadium, man. You came back into the group, man. I see you was over there with, uh, of course, uh, my boy DJ Black Nipson. Right. Uh, Evo, you know what I'm right. saying? You had people around there. How, do, how does it feel, man, to still come into your city and DJ and still oh, man, it's love. that you like? Oh, man, it's love, bro. It's always love. I love coming home, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just the fact of just being embraced and seeing my young DJs doing their thing. I like, I mean, even if I'm not working, I like to pop out support. You know what I'm saying? Them, you know, if they hit me up, yo, yo, OG, you know, saying someone big homie, I still feel like I'm young, but you know, yeah. I, I, I accept it, I embrace it, you know, saying, man, I'm here tonight, I'm there tonight. I'm like, okay, boom, I'll pop up, might bounce around, you know what I'm saying, try to catch everybody, because, you know, you know, everybody's everywhere doing their thing and, and um, coming up, you know what I'm saying. I'll drop jewels on them, like, yo, bro, you should have went, you know what I'm saying, should have did this, did that, or whatever, you know what I'm saying. To tighten them up, but other than that, man, I love coming home tearing up. You know, mm -hmm. that just like I said, man, it's the birthplace, bro. You got you gotta respect that. Mm hmm <laughs> yeah, Actually, man, you gotta uh I don't know, this is something about it, man. You just build some type of uh re energize to go ahead and keep going when you do different things. That is right. Um talk about mom ties, man, rapping. <laughs> How was that man being able to work with these guys and doing man, see what they do? Man, I love it, bro. It's, 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 it's just a family, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody respect each other. Everybody respect each other's platform of what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, Junior got mob ties. You know what I'm saying? Um, Prince, you know what I'm saying? OG, you know what I'm saying? He is rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? Then we, you know what I'm saying? Over here with Prez and E. You know what I'm saying? We rap a lot Midwest. All of us is, all of us is one union. You know what I'm saying? We just all, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own chapters. Of what's going on, but being able to elevate and move around and network, meeting people, being able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, I'm doing shows in Vegas, I haven't did shows in LA. I was at the Kanye Drake joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chilling. I'm chilling there with Dave Mays, you know what I'm saying? One of the founders of the Source magazine, Source Awards, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm with him, like, big shout out to all. And then, man, like I said, the whole industry, man, just, a lot of people right, just be able to elevate and be gravitated to, bro. It's nothing but a plus. Nothing but a plus. I hear that, man. And the motivation I'm getting from you right now, man, is, is definitely helping hmm. because, you again, when you... Uh, uh huh. Two Whatever you come up with. <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah. you come up with. We need no, to, yeah. yeah man. Let her do um, her thing. 
you uh you you, you definitely motivate not only just the DJs uh, but uh people like myself again because I appreciate when you that. see people that's been doing things for so long and they finally get to to reach their heights that what they deserve man it's it's almost like damn I'm I'm next you know what I'm right saying? So definitely I keep that energy there uh if that's something that you could be able to give to some of the young DJs or some of the young entrepreneurs to keep them in the uh, right direction what would it be when well, first thing is if you don't do it if you don't grind if you don't chase your dream you already know the outcome of that you know what i'm saying but you know what i mean it's just patience man it's patient and learning from your mistakes that's all it is that's and that's all i've done you know what i'm saying i've been patient i learned from my mistakes you know what i'm saying i'm not insane meaning i'm insane in this industry is basically keep doing the same thing over and over expecting different results mm -hmm. so i never i never did that you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna sit there and be like yo gonna keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? You always gotta elevate. That's all it is, man. Patience and, and hard work. It, it, it's gonna come. If you got the patience and you put in the hard work, it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. Patience and hard work, man. Yeah. It's definitely gonna work. I love the uh, Bible verse, you know what I'm saying? Faith without works is dead. So you gotta always gotta get that work in. That's a fact. Make sure you always have faith. But let them know, man, where they can find you at all social media platforms and what to see coming up for the year 2024. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. It's real simple, man. Y'all can find me on every single platform that you can think of. It's DJ Sleep Easy. That's DJ S L E E P E Z. That's every single platform. Uh, basically, for the for the remainder of the year, man, I got some new music on the way. You know what I'm saying? And um, basically, I mean, I'm, I'm invading cities, man. I'm everywhere. I'm, I'm hitting. Hitting every single city out there. Arizona, I'm coming out there soon. Shout out to Phoenix. Yo, we're getting everything inked up over there. You know what I'm saying? Colorado, be out there real soon. Chicago, I'm on the way. Hawaii, I'm on the way. Other than that, man, just follow me, man. Keep up with the movement. That's it. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Hey man, Sleep Easy, I want to say thank you again for allowing me to conduct this. I appreciate this you. It was worth it. And then again, like you said earlier about patience, you know what I'm saying? Had to be patient, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, my and, bad. Oh, man, that was all good. Luckily, I had my book, you know what I'm saying? Word. I was reading uh, the uh, Life of Times and Nipsey Hustle, so I took oh, okay. time to read my book out there and to have some food. So I was Gucci. Word, you know word, what I'm that's you gotta, what's always up. always got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You know? That's a fact, that's yes, a fact. Sir. So, uh, young lady, if you can, in the back, let everybody know where they can find you at since you over there doing this hair too. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at braids, RBA braids. That's braids with a Z on the end, underscore TT. Uh, there you go. See, yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? The that's hottest in the is. city. Yeah. That's it. That's all it is, man. I want to see people make it. It just takes something so small to be like, hey, just let everybody know where they can find you at. And people can just go ahead and go from there. That's right. it. Yeah, man. So tap in with me, man. With the Wave 804. Shout out to my OG DJ Sleep Easy, man. Yeah. Also follow RBA Braids. So you know what I'm saying? With the Z at the end. Uh -huh. And tap in with the Wave, man. Got a whole lot more stuff coming, man. So tune in. And we out, man. Okay. I love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out Got a nigga wound it so bad I'm about to pass out But baby can I tell the truth I love the way your booty moves Loving that big ol' bubble I'm ready to call you juicy fruit